Hello. Hello. It's been a while. We are back. Hairsay is back. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> We've been doing a lot, actually. So. I mean, if you keep up with us on social media, Instagram, Twitter, and all that kind of stuff, you will know we have been travelling for about two months. Yeah, it actually is two months. Yeah. Just dip, 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 dip. Yeah. We, um, so just a really, really quick recap. We went to Paris, so hopefully you've seen our vlog when we mm-hmm. attended the Natural Hair Academy with Active Long. Shortly um, after that, we yep. went to Jamaica with Divas in Paradise and the vlog is also now up on our channel so check that out and we were there for two weeks yeah that was a long time that was nice though yeah that was a really good (sighs) trip so we had a really great time but obviously it's all in the vlog and then we went to Portugal yep for like two days or so yeah and for a very short time but that was for the Euro African Forum where we um, sat on a panel and discussing how Europe and Africa can work together to create change and then we went to New York, New York and, and we went to Calfair. And that vlog is coming very soon as well. So we, you've got like two, three vlogs coming, like just on the channel yeah. almost. And then when we came back from Calfair, we had the Curly Treat event <laughs> in London, the natural <laughs> hair, the UK's biggest natural hair show. Yeah, I actually um, liked it this year in, in terms of like improvement. It's, yeah. I see the improvements being and made. And we won Influencer of the Year. Wait, wait, hold up. Ta-da! Ta-da! Can you see? Can you see? We, we won. won. We won. So thank you so much to everybody that voted. Um, this was really exciting, actually. Yeah, we didn't expect to win. It was like, oh. Yeah. That's really nice that, you know, get these little recognitions for your hard work. Um, yeah. So um, that's why we've just been a bit MIA. We've been very, very busy. Um, but yes. And then, we did, busy. and then we did Teen Experience as well. And then we did the Teen Experience that's run by Jamelia and Simone. And we did a workshop for teenagers. And um, our workshop was on mindfulness mm-hmm. and well-being routine. Um, and then we exhaled. Yeah, I literally... <laughs> I had a chance to breathe. <laughs> take time, take time. It's been a lot. Yeah, but at the um, Curly Treat event, we bought these tops that yes. we are wearing so obviously boys on business now this one's american this one's british yeah and so this is from um hello tea hello tea it says black and beautiful honey and this one's from the melanin team and, and our t-shirts should really be coming as well yeah mm. so um yeah we rock we rock in black owned businesses apparel right now so what's been Get going on it. there's been a lot actually but we're going to focus on more recent things cause yeah because going pass. back we would have to go way back we can talk about um, British people doing things. Um, so we have actors doing their bits and creating their films. So, you know, Yardi is coming out, which is this Elvis film with Amel Mean acting in the film. Just like, yo, doing the bits, representing, you know, take um, the blog plot darker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, no, Yardi, I enjoyed, I'm not sure if we mentioned it to you guys, but we went to a private screening of Yardi. Like, it's been like a while ago now. That was a while ago. We saw it yeah, like, like way ahead of everyone. Ago, definitely. We got a little plug. But um, no, definitely go and check out that film. Um, it was a really, really good film. Mm. And I feel like just in, term, in terms of supporting like that British Cinema. creatives and films. Most definitely. I would love to see really more important. like narratives and stuff like that coming out into the cinema. Yeah. Like, it's time for a change and, now. And at the same time, it's just like, obviously there's this whole thing about in terms of casting and black people being cast and stuff. And I like what it just done. It's like, well, create your own. Exactly. It's not easy to do for everybody, but support the people that do are do able exactly. to do it. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Instead of like always just like complaining about everything, mm-hmm. which you like to do a lot. So you might not be able to do it, but support the people that are doing it. That's you right. I mean? And it's a good film. Yeah, so, it's yeah, well made. It makes sense. Sim- I was beautiful, like cinematography. I yeah. loved it. So why not? So, so yeah. go support them out there doing their bits. Comes out end of August, I think. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Um, what else? Um, so speaking of actors, like British people doing things. Joy Van Wade from what was it called? Wall, Wall of Comedy. <laughs> I keep saying Man on the Wall. I just I, I keep saying that. Anyway. One of them, Man on the Wall, Wall of Comedy, are the same thing, no? Yeah, man. He was in The Weekend, that film. Yeah, as well. Um, he's done, yeah, he's been about, you know who he is. <laughs> yeah, man, if you don't know him from that, you know him from Instagram from back in the day, the three of yeah, them. He's been out here doing bits. Yeah, so. for real. And yeah. um, he's going to be starring in the new Cyborg, uh, the DC, sorry, the new DC um, live action series, Doom Patrol. 
we've been starring as Cyborg, which is lit. Another black superhero yeah. out there. So okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> just wanted to highlight that. Trying to find more things, but I can't remember things right now. So yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, well done for him. Well done to the Black British actors doing bits out here. Um, very proud. Very, very proud of people make doing their own and making their own. Also, yeah. um, you know, trying to catch us up to the rest of the market, which is brilliant. Mm. So yeah. So that nicely segues onto everything that was happening on Twitter not that long ago. Yeah. In regards to black, was it black creatives or was it black act? Like, was it specifically black act? So or? it was okay. So the whole let's give it a okay. bit of context. So there was a whole like riff on Twitter between like African Americans and I guess black British. Black British. It wasn't really at first black British. It, it was, was just other. It was more like it was, it was just other black people. <laughs> but it was more like um, it was more like I guess I think it was more targeted towards continental Africans. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, so yeah, it was that whole thing. And to be honest, like. I do understand where they're coming from. A lot of their culture is consumed and used to progress other other black nationalities that don't necessarily have their experience. Um, and you know, it is very interesting how we then react when we're told that because at the end of the day, it is their culture. They do have a culture. But then it's also interesting to see how they react when they say we don't have a culture, which is very, very interesting. Um, so yeah, there was this whole rift. Um, I believe it did start from Seren Sensei on Twitter or Instagram or YouTube, whatever. Someone took a clip of her video and put it on the internet. Um, having watched that video, I do agree with some of her points. I don't agree with the whole delivery at all. But um, yeah, I definitely agree with some of her points. Um, but I do feel like there's also a lack of context around some of them, which I highlighted, yeah, which I highlighted in a Twitter thread as well, which kind of picked up, um, just highlighting, highlighting the experiences and the history between, what I know of anyway, between Americans and actors and black British actors, which was also on the grapevine. Yeah, I was just, I was literally just about to say that um, there was a really good conversation in regards to that on the grapevine when they were here in the UK, which Jay is nicely featured on. Mm-hmm. Everyone was like, Tree, like, what happened? I know, everyone's asking Why me. Why didn't you? And just to clarify, I was busy, all right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I couldn't make the filming, so that's why I wasn't on Next but, time. Yeah. Next time. Um, but yeah, so go back. So I was watching that episode, and there was a really, there was a lot of really good points in that episode. I thought it was quite balanced um, as well. Yeah, yeah, I think it was quite balanced. But um, I, obviously it's easier for me on this side of the world to be like, yeah, why not? Like, go and, go and shoot your shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, but like you said, I understand where they're coming from. They have from their struggles and in, stuff. But then, yeah, it's the whole thing of like, create your own, create your own. And it is much difficult, much more difficult. Yeah. Than, yeah I do think. And they were making a really good point on there in regards to like, the things, the shows and um, like black shows that we used to have on TV. Um, just got wiped out. Yeah, just like, and I was actually just like, rah, that's true. Like obviously in regards to Desmond, like Real McCoy, mm-hmm. like all of that. And you actually think like, wow, like what what do we have here now? Like this is so crazy. It's gone. Um, but Channel 4 has recently, I don't know what the title is, like, but it's very intentional in terms of being more diverse. They've all kind of pushed like a diverse thing. Okay. Um, so hence why now you will see the big nasty show. Yes. There's also Peng Life. Oh, never heard of that one. Peng Life is a chicken connoisseur. Oh, is that He's it? He's got his own show. Okay, so what's it called? Yeah. So okay. people all of a sudden like, oh, there's like black people on TV. So Channel Four have intentionally. Good for um, Channel Four. Yeah, like made a conscious effort, so to speak, in terms of getting more black people on TV. Mm-hmm. On TV. Um, so yeah, if you ever think about TV show, head to Channel Four and try and. Commission, that, yeah, yeah. To get that commission because um, they're really backing it. Um, but yeah, did you watch the big nasty show? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, and what did you think? I watched a portion. Okay. Not my portion. Okay. <laughs> um, mm, I don't know if I caught like the pilot or whatever, but I was watching it. <laughs> what? I don't know if I just caught the pilot. Or... <laughs> you wouldn't see a pilot. I don't know. <laughs> That's so funny, but I get what you mean because it comes across like yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, hilarious. Exactly. Like you would never see a pilot. But you know what I mean, though. It must have been a pilot I was watching because that was. Just... I love you guys. Like I really, really wish you the best. But for me, I could, it wouldn't hold my attention. Okay. I watched the first one because obviously it was on the advert, and I was like, "What? Black people on TV? Which who, who was in the episode that you watched? The first one. 
it was the woman that did the choreography to yeah that's what i watched yeah, yeah. Right. so that's mm. the first one mm. um my first reaction was what the hell is this i'm not gonna lie i felt embarrassed like i was sitting at home and actually felt embarrassed to <laughs> watch the show i was like Oh no. I was like, no, 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 no. To come on TV with that foolishness. Right, I've got two sides to this. Go ahead. I'm just being honest about my first. And you're in media, so I want to hear your experience. I'm being honest about my first reaction. That was my reaction in terms of my first reaction. I felt embarrassed. My first thought was like, why? You're bringing black people on TV, this is great. But then this is what you're bringing on. You know, you just like, jeez, man, like, give us a break. That, That was my first reaction. However, at the same time, it's not a fluke that they commissioned this show mm-hmm. and brought Big Nasty on. It's, that's not a fluke. So there's obviously a reason why they um, have this show with him. So I know that there's a reason that they they have gone ahead with this. Because at the end of the day, to be on TV and to get your show commissioned, all that, that's not that's not a joke. Like you go for a whole rigorous and process for mm-hmm. that so i do what i do like is the fact that he obviously he's a guy from the ends do you know what i mean yeah. like and he can go there and be himself yeah as in they haven't gone like well big nasty you need to actually speak like this yeah. and you need to do like this so that you can be on tv mm-hmm. like i like the fact of at the end of the day that is who he yeah. is like i i'm not gonna act like oh I've, i love big nasty and i've been following him for years, and years. but obviously i do know him from yeah, prior yeah. to him being on tv now and that is who he is yeah, like, yeah that is him so the other side of me feels like i love the fact that actually he can go on tv and be who he is mm-hmm. that's not necessarily appealing for me like mm. i don't i'm not necessarily in that space of like I follow him mm. and I like what he does. So for me, it's just like, okay, you, him as a person, regardless of him being on Channel 4 or whatever, I don't follow him. I don't mm-hmm. necessarily back him as a person like that. Yeah. But I do love the fact that he can go on television and be who he is. Um, I was really confused as to it actually being called The Big Nasty Show, really? having Mo, Mo, Mo the Comedian as a co-host even though Mo is the person that really drives, drives the, the show. show. So confused. that was very confusing. It was either you give Big Nasty some training because he admitted on the show, like, I don't do this TV stuff, so that's why I've got For Mo. But like, he actually said those words. That's cool. Mm-hmm. So either you give Big Nasty some training because at the end of the day, there's plenty of people that come out of reality TV or do all other kind of yeah. stuff and they get trained to be a presenter. Mm-hmm. So you can do that training. Still mm-hmm. stay, stay who you are, yep. but you know, you, you know learn the, the skills in ask, terms of like learning, knowing how to interview te- techniques, learning how to read auto cues. You mm-hmm. could have given him that training. Or just had it as a co thing, like it maybe no, don't call it the big nasty show. Maybe it could have been, show. yeah, maybe it could have been called Mo something else show. where you and Mo are equals, so to speak. Yeah. Because every time it's like my co host, my little side thing, <laughs> don't know, <laughs> <laughs> Mo, and it's just like, but Mo's nah. running your show, bruv. Like, but Mo is literally that's what I literally thought was the Mo show, and um, and it's sick. Like, obviously, he, I guess, Mo is more trained in that way or has he the skills very well yeah and he's great and he carries that show totally because the way mo's like interviewing the guests talking mm-hmm. about this and then big nasty just like what I, I don't even know who you are or like <laughs> yeah like what you was in that oh i didn't even know like it was just a bit like it's just, com- you're just, it's like, just like oh like, my god it like, like, like it's yeah, I felt like I did feel like, like I was sitting there like, oh, Lord. yeah, like it actually it made me cringe. I, I, I agree with you. It totally. made me cringe. Like, it I made agree me cringe. with you totally because for me, like I was like, yeah, man, big nasty, but the training, the training was not there, yeah, and I feel like him some you training. give him to like, even if he wants to still be, you know, black British street kind of hood, be kind who of you are, be speak who you the are. way you speak, the way you talk, but know what speak the way you speak. But still have the skills to be able to yeah. interview someone on your show. Right, bro. because some of the stuff that he's coming up with, I was like, I was like, yeah, like, it's like, like just know like, the questions to ask, know what you're trying to get from this person, know why they're on their show, yeah. know the background. Not even that, do a bit of research, like, know, know who the they are. Like, I was just like, no, oh, come gosh. on, bro. Like, that's crazy. Oh, like, we love you both, but. And like, there were just so many cringy stuff. I, there was so mm-hmm. many cringy stuff. <laughs> 
I work in television, okay, so this is why I'm saying what I'm saying. But I can literally picture someone like in their ear or like cueing them like right now. And then they'll be in the middle of a conversation. I'm talking, oh, and someone says something. Oh wait, there's there's somebody in the cupboard. Like it was like, okay guys, you could have done so much better. Mm. Like I'm just like, who's the floor manager here? Who's directing this? Mm. Like Oh, Again, exactly. so that's another thing as they well. They needed more practice, that's how it came that's across. An, but that's another thing as well, like, we're talking about them too, but it's also the team behind them should be preparing them yeah, in, a, bit better, in yeah. a better way. And I heard some people making the point of like, oh, well, you know, like, that's not who they, that's not what they do, but, so just let them be themselves. But I'm just like, but they for they're me, it's great. But I still think at the end of the day, you are on national television. It's not a YouTube team. So for me, I would still like to see an element of professionalism. But this is this is what I'm thinking. Like, is it the case that obviously all surface like we can critique, but behind the scenes, were they given that opportunity? You no, know, so I really feel like some people would set them up just to fail, just so there's another proof that, oh, you know, these things don't really work. Yeah. I mean, it just I wouldn't be surprised. No, I would I. It, sad to say it's like I don't want to say these words that are coming out of my mouth but like that's how it came across I personally just would have done it differently um it definitely would have been uh um it wouldn't have been the big nasty show like it would have been them both maybe rather than acting like the Mo Nasty show yeah the Mo Nasty show that's all they had to yeah the Mo Nasty show what, what, why? I don't I they why are we on, on these teams like what? no I just bear caught what you said like yeah the Mo Nasty show like that that's that's that was it Genius. But anyway, yeah, so yeah, moving on though, because they've got the chicken connoisseur um, that's gonna have his show, which is, isn't that out today? I don't know, I don't watch TV. I don't know, but it's out, <laughs> by the time this goes out, it would have already been out. But Peng Life, um, there was already a lot of talk about him having his own show. Um, because I know someone else tried to do a little BBC3, there to you go, chicken BBC shop or something. Three, you little nasty. <laughs> BBC Three tried to do their own little thing, and people were like, "Nah, bro, I'm like, don't try it." Mm. Um, so I'm glad that um, this guy, what's his name? Is that the name? Anyway, Chicken Boy. You know who we're talking about? Chicken Kanza. Yeah, Chicken Kanza. Um, so I'm glad that he has his own thing, and I think he, obviously, he's a completely different person. So I do think that he will bring something yeah. to this. I'm looking forward to see the format of that. Yeah, it's just, how... a, just the format is just I really feel, But I feel like they need development, like these people, the people that they come on, they're not, yeah. if they're not trained in media, they're not yeah. exposed to it, they need the development. Yeah. And I wonder if these companies are pushing this. And that's all it is at the end of the day, development. Hmm. I just find it like, oh, it's bittersweet because I know people, it's that whole thing of like, oh, we'll usually be grateful that there's black people on TV anyway. Yeah, but it are. is that whole thing, and we are, definitely, but it is that whole thing of like, the caliber kind of people that they are choosing. Yeah. Like, across the board, like, yeah. why not mix it up? So you have the few jokers, you've got the comedians, but then I'm hoping, because I don't know yeah, what else media is coming. Yeah, I'm yeah. not sure, I'm not sure what else is coming at the end of the day, so it's kind of hard to speak on it, but I just hope it is a bit mixed. So you have your jokers, you have your, you know, to have a laugh TV, but it would be good. Look how much talent we have here in the UK. I mean, they could take a look at Yanga and take, even commission a show from Yanga TV onto Channel 4. There you go, to. that's what I'm saying. So I hope, I hope, I hope, like, well done Channel 4, and it is great, like, we are grateful that you that they, they are using their platform to give us these opportunities because we do need more black people on tv i'm just hoping that it is a bit of a mixture and that you're mm. not just getting a whole series of jokers when mm. it's just looking like oh yeah you know i agree last piece of news lebron james opened his own i promise school yeah and when you graduate from that school um you get free college tuition yeah. oh i yeah. didn't know that yeah as well Free college tuition. Yeah, they pay for it. They sponsor your college tuition. Wow. Tuition, okay, yeah. So he's targeting yeah. the um, kind of disadvantaged children, which is amazing. I really didn't li- like I really didn't like how that wasn't really broadcasted. Like on on, on social media, mm-hmm. yeah. But in terms of like I think that's like a that should be a big main thing. That's a yeah. big thing. He, he's but, yeah. a, what kind of he's a major it's athlete, just, yeah. like a globally world renowned athlete and you don't highlight his achievements. I mean, I'm saying that, I'm not someone that sits there and watches the news, so maybe it was highlighted, but I didn't really see it not in like really. a mainstream. I never saw it on mainstream. Obviously, thank God. Anyway. And this is why it's really good that we have social media platforms, because we have to create our own, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Celebrate our own, because they ain't, they ain't. They'll mm-hmm. tell you about all the negative things though, ASAP, they'll tell you that real quick. Yeah, as man. soon as it's something that's Drugs really positive. Yeah, as soon as it's something really positive, it's like, oh, you don't really hear about mm-hmm. it. Like, that's big, that's huge. 
That's really, really good. It's amazing. Go on with your bad stuff. About paying it back. But yeah, yeah um, definitely. So, yeah. Is that it? I think so. Yes. Okay, so. Um, yeah, but. <laughs> No. Okay. So. <laughs> um. So yeah, that's the end of episode. Don't know the number because we just come back to just allow us right now. Just allow it. How dare you? you? Don't even know the number. Do you know it? Anyway, so we'll see you <laughs> next time. <laughs> um. But yeah, be sure to subscribe, share, like this video, and we'll see you very soon. Thank you so much. Bye.